Channeled by Vania Rodriguez Dear Ones I am Archangel Michael. Today we are going to talk about the next few days. A lot is happening around your planet, around your galaxy, around the universe. Lots of energy. Many changes. Some energetic parameters of the Earth are being modified. You are receiving more and more light. What does that mean? You all have the divine spark in your hearts, that, even with all the negative feelings in their minds, it never goes away, because you are all part of the whole. And the all is the divine source that is omnipotent and omnipresent. So, you all have a little piece of divine source within you. Even if it is a pale glow, but this spark never goes out, except at the death of the physical body. So when I say that you are being bombarded with light, it is as if each of you has a direct connection to a large machine. A machine that produces light, and each of you has a cord that connects to that machine. Some days we increase the intensity of the machine's production, and it sends more energy and more light to you, and that divine spark is bombarded. What is the objective? For those who already have an enlightened heart, the divine spark becomes increasingly greater. You increasingly feel like beings of light tied to the divine, with love. It seems that love explodes in your hearts and you have an immense need to expand and emanate this love. This is happening to hundreds, and thousands of you. All those who are awakened are shining like stars on your planet. There are many points of light, which are already visible to us above. Those whose sparks are almost extinguished receive this light. Yes, everyone has a turn. Everyone has the opportunity to believe in forgiveness, repentance and believe that they can be a being of light who emanates love. No one is outside this process. Many, upon receiving this light, feel discomfort in their actions. They feel like they are doing something that is not right. And the change comes in such a strong way that they can slowly change. They are those who were led to the path of evil by the adverse circumstances of life, but who deep down never had a bad heart, they just chose the wrong side in a moment of desperation. Then these, many, repent and ask the Divine to forgive them. And if this repentance is from the bottom of the heart, if he emanates a great violet light of transformation, this brother is forgiven, and becomes another one who emanates light. There are also those who have a luminous heart, but who have created a shell of anger, resentment, hatred, of thinking that nothing is good, that the world is rubbish, that no one is any good. They are people who criticize, who judge, who think they are better than others, because their opinions are the ones that have to prevail. What does light do? The light little by little breaks this hard shell, and these people also begin to feel that every time they say bad words, that they have bad feelings, they feel bad, they even become physically ill, because that is no longer echoing within themselves, and little by little they will let the divine spark grow and completely destroy this hard shell of lovelessness and hatred. Now we have those in which this shell of evil has all the low vibrational feelings attached to the single core. So, this shell around the divine spark is immense and hard, it's hard as steel. Steel was a compound created, and it is one of the hardest on the surface of your planet, because even stones that are so hard can be destroyed with a good blow. So, these hearts with steel shells will never absorb the light, because they created this whole process over eons and eons, incarnations, incarnations, and they can no longer live any other way. With each incarnation they choose to live in the same way and increasingly worse, because this energy of evil, of badness in their hearts, only increases, and the carapace only increases. Then, in these my brothers, the light will not penetrate. She will try, not to say that these brothers are not connected to the great machine, they are, but it would take many, many ages for the light to reach the divine spark, and for it to have their will. And that desire does not exist. In short my brothers, much depends on your free will, because many may feel discomfort for change, but not want to change. I am like this and I want to stay like this and it will continue. It will be, as you say, 
rain in the wet. So my brothers, the light is reaching everyone equally, without distinction. There is no stronger or weaker ray. Everyone is receiving the same intensity. Now, the intensity with which this ray is absorbed, then, depends on the size of each one's divine spark. Brothers, the process has begun. In the next few days we will have the 11 or 11 portal, which is a perfect energetic portal for large calibrations, and a lot will happen with Gaia. Many will not notice, they will say that it is just another bunch of nonsense being said. Others will feel the energies, and will use all this beneficial energy that will be arriving for the benefit of themselves and others. Therefore, my brothers, always be ready. Don't think, ah, I'll start this tomorrow, I'll get better tomorrow, tomorrow I accept, tomorrow I change. No, my brothers, the thought has to be, why didn't I change before, why didn't I accept the light before? Let my brothers, this light grow in your hearts, and you will see how good it will be to participate in this process. The process, my brothers, of ascension, will not happen in just one, two, or three days, as many are boasting out there. The process is long, because no one changes overnight. It's learning as if you went to school, and every day you learn something new, and then you pass the year or not. It's the same concept. You will pass the level or you will have to stay where you are until you pass. It's a long process, my brothers. It won't be overnight that you will sleep on the third and they will wake up on the fifth. There is no such thing. Yes, many things will happen abruptly, because change has to happen, but not your passage. I say this passage is not the passage from the physical body to the spiritual body, it is just the interdimensional passage. You are the first inhabitants in the entire universe who change dimensions while in the physical body, without encountering death. The entire universe is focused on your planet, as this is an experience that will serve as support for many other people who want to do the same thing, but do not have the courage. And you did. You made that commitment, and you're killing it. Carry on. You are to be congratulated. Each of you is doing your homework as it should be done, so keep going as you will see the results. I am Archangel Michael and I coordinate all teams of angels and beings of light that operate on this planet, and with my sword I will cut any and all ties that prevent them from evolving.